Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In this second part of a three-part series, we're going to be creating this four-point cross. All right, let's hop right to it. We're going to continue where we left off. We're going to start out with a new component. We're going to go ahead and toggle off visibility for the previous component. We're going to create a sketch and we want it to be on the top plane. We're going to use the center point rectangle. Make one side about 14.4 millimeters. And we want to be equidistant on all four sides, so we use the equal constraint. Now it's fully defined. We're going to go ahead and finish the sketch. Use the extrude tool. And we want to extrude this about 19.7 millimeters. Click OK. All right. Now we're going to select the front view. Create a sketch on that front plane. Left click and hold when you see it. And you'll get the XZ axis. Zoom in a little bit. All right. So we're going to be creating a line. A series of lines, actually. So selecting the line tool, we're going to start a line on the inside at the top, drag it over, bring it down, bring it on the inside, start again at the point we intersect it, bring it up at an angle, straight up. And back to this point here. All right, let's go ahead and add some dimensions. From this line to this line, we're going to make this about 2.54 millimeters. <clears throat> From this line to this line, we're going to give it an angle of about 30 degrees. And the same at the bottom two lines. Okay. From this line, to about this point, we want it to be about 6.35 millimeters. Okay. We want to take the horizontal vertical constraint. Well, actually, let's back up a second. Let's uh, dimension from this line to this point. We'll make it about 0.25 millimeters. Okay. And we're going to take the perpendicular constraint tool. We'll make this line and that line perpendicular. Actually, stand by one. We'll take this point and this point and make them perpendicular. There we go. And now it's fully defined. My apologies. Okay. Now we want to use the revolve tool. We're going to select the profile. Well, we got to make sure we select the profile intersecting the actual uh, rectangle itself. And the same thing at the bottom. Okay. Now it's fully selected. We're going to select the Z axis. Operation is going to be set to cut 360 degrees. Select OK. And this is the shape you're going to come up with. All right. Select the front view. I'm going to create a sketch. Left click and hold until we get the X, Z axis. Okay. We're going to use a center diameter circle. And we're going to make this about 4.7, I believe. Give me one second here. Four point seven five is what it should be. Okay. Vertical constraint from this point to the bottom center point. The distance from the bottom to the point is going to be about 6.7 millimeters. All right, it's fully defined. Finish the sketch. We'll rotate it to the right. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and extrude that circle. All right. We're going to make this about 24 millimeters. 
operation is going to be set to join and we want the direction to be symmetric for measurement we're going to go ahead and make it whole length and click okay now we can go to the right all right create a sketch left click and hold until we get the y z axis center diameter circle same 4.75 Vertical constraint. Okay. In the distance from the top line to the center point, you guessed it, 6.7. Now it's fully defined. Finish the sketch. Use the extrude tool. It's going to be symmetric. Whole length. 24 millimeters. Join. Click OK. All right. Now let's go ahead and add some fillets. Select these four sides. Make this about 1.25. Before you click OK, hit the plus symbol. I'm going to select some more to give it some uh, extra fillets as well. So I'm going to select the top round edge four sides the cylinder edges and we should come up with a total of 14 we're going to make this about 0.25 millimeters and click OK But that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for part three, the final part in this universal joint series.